is to stop and check out the car. This is a good time. Got a little surprise visitor for y'all today in the video. Come on in. What's up, oh, Captain? Oh my god. Yeah, look <laughs> at this thing. <laughs> A little yeah. different than you've seen it. You you recognize all those intercooler pipes. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah. Yep. Can you believe they're back in the car? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> That's man. I'm gonna plug. I've just finished plugging ECM link up, and uh, hooked up the data logging cable. And pretty soon we're gonna fire this thing up for the for the first time. Nice and, GM alternator. You like, like that? that? Yeah. You don't have AC anyway, so it's perfect. Exactly. And uh, how you like that fuel system? No longer are we overflowing yes. the old factory regulator nice. out of a non-turbo that's nice factory ngk yep you see the gm uh map sensor yep, right yeah there. and over here we've got the uh ets speed density throttle body elbow and okay. at the bottom of that you see there's a gm intake air temperature yep. sensor mm -hmm. you kept the overflow off the mirage that's where i it came from i did i did and did you notice that i accidentally put the wrong thermostat housing on it i have two you have two radiator caps. Exactly. But anyway, I, I uh, installed a autometer triple gauge pod in it, so that's new to the interior. And, oh, wow. uh, I haven't seen this thing in so long. <laughs> hey, you can pop it open. Look, nice. ECM link. See the cable down there on the floor? Yep. Getting ready to plug that in. It fits the factory ICU. Nice. Oh, okay. I see the gauge pod. Pretty stealth, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of the idea all along. Not to have anything showing. Yep. It's so, nice, man. You've done a lot with it. <laughs> yeah, how do you feel about having built an internet celebrity? I'm shocked, actually. <laughs> I'm just having fun, you know. Exactly. See what I could get from nothing, really. Well, thank you, man. It's helped a whole lot of people. And, uh, I'm taking I'm, it to the next level. Oh, dude, I've had so much fun doing it. Really, I'm just putting it back to where you had it and put a bigger turbo on yeah. it. Slightly larger snail. Yeah. But, uh, dude, thank you so much for the opportunity, and I can't wait to see what this thing does at the track. I, know, I can't wait to see either, man. That's, uh... <laughs> and it's nice that because you used a lot of the same parts that were originally on it before, so... Yep. Some of the things just, you know... Nobody will ever see the ones that I changed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. That's awesome, yeah.
total burn time here was 22 minutes. And sorry people, no tuning in this video. We'll get into that next time. Okay, I did do some tune by feel stuff with the cam angle sensor to bring the idle speed down, but I changed nothing in the ECU. What the live capture told me is, is that I have a dead O2 sensor and can't enter closed loop. I can't easily tune around having no O2 sensor, so no spoilers or anything, but what do you think is going to be next? And what did you think about how those HKS camshafts sound? No leaks and no inferno, it works. I've got a car all over again, and I look forward to working out all these bugs with you. Check the description for a play-by-play, -play, and until next time, stay tubed.